You're listening to Kate Palmer from sparkletart.com. Today I'm going to be creating an almost one layer card. This is something that I've been planning on doing for a while and I've finally got the products to do it. I'm going to be using three different colours of the Magicals from Lindy's Stamp Gang. I have Black Orchid Silver, French Lilac and Tiffany Lou Blue. The other things that you'll need to be able to do this are a couple of stamps, a water brush, some watercolour cardstock, it needs to be smooth. I'm using Arsh Smooth 185 GSM. This may buckle slightly, but it won't be anything that you can't flatten out again. You'll also need some stencil sheeting, and this is my new current favourite. It is new from Express It, and it's just called Stencil Sheets. Then I have cut out a few strips of the stencil sheeting. And this is not the kind of stuff that you're going to use once and throw away. This is quite thick uh, and it's the kind of thing that you'll reuse over and over. In addition to the straight sections, I've cut a few wavy lines. Now I'll be able to reuse these over and over for both hills, sections of cloud, mountains, even underwater scenes. Make sure you've pressed these firmly onto the cardstock so they make good contact. Now for the first section, which will be the sky, I'm going to add water using a large flat brush. This layer of water will allow the colours I'm about to add to blend and create a smooth, seamless colour. Now I'm adding the colour with the water brush. Pick up colour from the paint pot as a dry powder and apply it first where you want the colour to be darkest. As you gradually move the paintbrush out, there'll become less and less colour on there and the colour will become paler. Repeat this with each different colour, continuing to add and dip into the paint pot as you need a bit more colour to make sure you get a beautiful strong tone but still lovely and blended. Now it's quite simple this technique, all you need to do is keep going back in with the water brush, getting more colour from the little paint pot and adding colour until you have the colour depth that you're after. Now I like to keep adding colour until sort of there's none left on the brush. To make sure that you don't end up with things that look like lines, I'm also making sure I add a little bit of each colour into the previous areas. So I've got a little bit of the black just sort of in the corner where I started with the Tiffany Lou Blue. I've got a little bit of purple sneaking into the blue. I'm going back in now and adding some purple in the black just so it looks like one sort of blended, graded, one piece rather than three stripy lines, which it very could easily do. Make sure that your water brush is nice and wet at all times so that the colours blend without having to work too hard at it. If you find that you get any little blobs of magicals, like just here, go back in with the wet water brush, clean it off, either remove them with the water brush or add a bit more water and blend them into your background. Now between each colour I've gone and cleaned off my brush on that little scrap of paper. For the final step I'm adding a little of that Tiffany Lou Blue into the purple and into the black and then I'm going to let it dry. Once dry or at least partially dry you can carefully peel off that sort of mountain section and move it a bit further down. Now you may find that you've got a little bit of seepage underneath the stencil. This is easy to fix afterwards by adding a little bit of white gel pen, you'd almost never know it was there. Now I'm just moving this down and once again making sure it's nice and stuck as well as I can. For this next section I'd like a lighter wash. I don't want the same colours in the sky and in the earth. So I'm mixing a tiny bit of powder with a little bit of water in the lid of the paint pot. Again I'm applying it first where I want it to be darkest. But you'll notice this time I didn't add water first. Now the colours will still blend because I'm adding a wash of that palest colour all over the piece to begin with. Without this, you'll find it a little bit more difficult. I'm going to add a tiny bit of the purple and you can see how light I'm making this and an even tinier bit of the black. Now the black is quite strong, so just be careful here. Now you may not be able to see it because I am going a little bit more quickly but I did not take that initial Tiffany Lou Blue layer right to the top. I've left a tiny little bit of white paper 
that's completely dry between where I've done my sky and this next layer and that's so that the colors don't bleed from one section to another it helps keep it nice and crisp now as with the previous one I'm just adding you know a little of the black and a little of the purple into the blue but I'm keeping this beautiful and light so it looks like the reflection of the sky on snow well that's my that's what I'm hoping to achieve anyway for the final layers it's following the exact same process so I'm waiting for the layer that I've been working on to be partially dry then I'm removing the stencil mask adding the colors leaving a tiny little section between the top and the bottom so that they don't touch and mingle waiting for it to partially dry and adding a little bit more now just continue repeating this process until you are down to the bottom of your cardstock at which point just remove the mask and repeat it on that last layer once it's completely dry remove the adhesive mask and have a look if there's any little imperfections this is the time to fix them up now if there are any imperfections this little bit of blue or this little bit of grey you've got two choices you can either trim the card so that it's a little smaller and cut them off or you can use a white gel pen to just touch those up uh, the sparkle and shimmer from this is as gorgeous as I would expect and it just looks so subtle it's now ready for a little stamping just to finish it off now with a little stamping over the top just keeping it simple enhances the background so I've stamped in Hydrangea Archival Ink and then I've gone over the top and stamped just slightly off the original image in Silvery Shimmer Delicata and that gives sort of a shadow and a main image and then just keeping that nice and simple it doesn't detract from the background now you might notice this is a different card it's because I've just dropped my black ink pad squarely on the one I was working on so this is the same technique just some slightly different colors so this is my almost one layer card using magicals from Lindy Stamp Gang and this has turned out so beautifully I think I might actually use this technique for my Christmas cards for 2015 so I hope you've enjoyed this and it's given you another idea about how to use those magicals thanks for watching